Hello everyone, it is Hannah, your Sparkling Spectrumite, and welcome to another kit up and chat today. Um, yeah guys, I had ordered this gorgeous, gorgeous canvas from Enablers Outpost, and I just can't resist kitting it up. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so just getting into it again, this canvas is from Enablers Outpost, and I know you can't really see it well, so I'll try and insert a picture so you can see what the entire canvas looks like. And I'll also link my unboxing video down below from when I unboxed this. But this is Ruby by Alphonse Mucha. This is part of his Precious Stones collection. And um, Elizabeth and Edward from Enablers Outpost had this as a diamond painting. I had had this on my wish list for a very long time and just finally decided to pull the trigger on it. So what I'm gonna do to kit up, and actually it's, this is, believe it, it's a huge painting. It's a pretty big canvas. However, it's only got 42 colors. So not, you know, not like a huge amount. And it is a square drill canvas, but I just thought the colors on this was so pretty. It gave me fall vibes. It, um, for some of you who saw the unboxing, some of you were commenting it kind of gave you winter vibes as well. And I just I just loved all the shades of pink. And so I decided to kit it up because part of me was like, you know what? Uh, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I'm like, how cool would it be to kind of do a canvas just with, you know, all the pinks in it and, and something to kind of, you know, recognize that. And one of the reasons is, is my mother-in-law um, is does have metastatic breast cancer right now. She is a she's had it twice before and it is back again. So she is currently fighting breast cancer. And yeah, you know, and I'm sure there are probably every single one of you has known someone, whether your family, friend, work colleague, someone who, you know, who has fought breast cancer and October is a time to recognize that. So I thought, you know what, why not do a canvas with with all the pinks in it which it does so uh using to kit up today because it's whoop sorry you're gonna hear cats scramble in the background using uh what i'm gonna do to kit up is actually i love using these craftably containers this is a 56 compartment container which i really like and uh yeah this is that's probably my favorite way um, I'm just going to use Avery multi-use labels. They're just little squares like that. And then we're just going to get into it. So let me see here. I think what I'm going to do, instead of writing the DMC label, I'm just going to write the number on it. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm also using a pink pen too to make my labels pink because why not? So I'm going to go pink, right? Might as well just really go all pink. So hopefully everyone is doing well. Um, I will say last week was a dumpster fire for me. Uh, and I kind of, you know, said that and I, I was so bummed because like I canceled my life because I wasn't able to make it due to different appointments. And then I by honestly, guys, by the time Thursday last week had rolled around, um, I was exhausted. And then I was like, well, that's okay. I'll still you know, fill my whip and chat Friday and just put it out Saturday for just, you know, one time only. And honestly, guys, even by Friday, I was just, I was done. I was so tired and just completely, like my battery had been drained. So I was like, okay, I am just going to, you know, take the weekend, get my head back in a better place, decompress, and then I'll be all ready for this week, which is um, exactly what happened. It was really good. It was a really good weekend. Uh, it really was just a great time to relax, kind of recharge my battery. And yes, much, much better. So thank you all for just your encouragement and your support with that. Um, I always really appreciate it because uh, I do. I always feel guilty, you know, when I have to cancel or when something's going on. I really do. Like, I don't like 
to cancel events or videos or, or anything like that. It's just oh, last week, man, it was just, it's crazy. And part of it is too, is I like, I, yeah, I just could not, it was just a lot. It was just a lot between appointments and, uh, there's like family matters. And then, uh, there was stuff with, uh, one of our rental houses because my husband and I have a couple of properties that we own that we rent out. And it's just, it was kind of like that Murphy's Law almost. It's just like everything that you think is going to go wrong did. <laughs> and yeah, it was just one of those weeks. But um, again, thank you guys for your support. I, I, I know, um, you know, people reached out to me and, you know, let me know that they're there. And again, I always really appreciate that because um, I'm not one of those people I try to, I really do. I, I'm, I'm trying to get better at it, but I'm not one of those people who's very good. I'm just pouring this all over. There's a little bit of static with these drills, but it's not, it's not terrible. So I'm just gonna get these out. Yeah, I'm just not one of those people who is very good at asking for help. <laughs> I just never have been. I am one of those people that kind of just grit and bear it. And I did that for a very, very long time along with, um, you know, masking because uh, I am autistic and I, I was a masker for a long time. And, you know, it really is a process of, you know, when you get a late autism diagnosis like I did, you really are kind of figuring out who you really are. And in a sense, you're kind of relearning things. And that's kind of still what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't have to, you know, grit and bear it anymore. I can, I can actually ask for help and I can reach out to people. And so I am trying to do better at that, but I don't always get it. All right, a little bit of static here, but... It's not bad. That's also kind of why I like these um, uh, Craftmates lockable containers is because they're a little wider. And so if you do have static, they at least tend to go all in the same container. <laughs> so that kind of helps. But yeah, so without really going into a whole lot of details of last week, like that was pretty much what happened. Um, so yeah, so again, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, everyone was just super kind, super sweet, super supportive. And I really do appreciate it. Cause again, I, I don't like, uh, canceling things or not fulfilling. Oh my goodness. Really? Okay. The cats are like, sorry, my cats are totally teasing my dogs right now. Like you can tell they're just like taunting them. And my dog Bertha is like going crazy right now. She's like, wait, cats, what? Although it's really funny, guys. Um, so we adopted our foster kitten. We foster failed. And our dog Bertha, she's not, she's not mean to cats, but she's just kind of overly excited. Like she's still really a puppy, Bertha is. Like I, I consider dogs puppies until like after they turn two. And that's the thing. And Bertha isn't even two yet. So she's still very much a puppy. And it's, <laughs> she gets like really excited with Sunny and she'll like start aggressively licking him. Like she's super sweet, but it's almost like, oh, okay, back off. That's like a little too much. <laughs> so, all right, let's see here. I am looking for 355. You guys might see it, but I don't. 355, 355, 355, where are you? It's my little song now. You guys can take it. Okay, I see 356. Okay, I'm gonna look through this again. 355. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Okay. So, but yeah, so, but this week has been different. It was pretty chill, honestly. I mean, a couple more things with with rentals and, and my husband was out of town, so I was kind of like, mm -hmm. it's always harder when he's out of town because 
I do. I miss it. But my husband, he does have to go out of town for work a lot. And, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. But um, he is coming back today. So I'm very excited about that. I'm ready to see him again. And I think Friday, when you guys see this, we will be out like on a date day. And, ooh, okay. A little more static than I... Oh, guys, I haven't had to fight static in a while, so I'm like, no, I don't want static. It just, oh. Yeah. We'll see if I get through this whole kit up in chat, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. You know what? I think what I'll do is if I can't fit them all into this container, I'll just store them in the baggies. And then I'll pour, cause I just don't, guys. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with static today. Just not gonna happen. Just nope, 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 nope. So actually, let me. I think what I'll do. And I know I could have totally just left these in the baggies, but I really do like kitting up into containers. That's just, I don't know. It's kind of my thing. So. What I'm going to do is these things are awesome. I got these little containers from Hobby Lobby and whatever spare drills I have, I'm just going to put in here and they'll be there. So there we go. That works. Okay. 356. Here we go. Just going to do it that way. All right. But yeah, so it was, it's, yeah, it's been a way calmer week this week got some stuff done um yeah just it's it's been good so it's been beautiful weather too oh my gosh this weather has been phenomenal so that's helped too and that was another thing like last week it was just it's so freaking it was so freaking hot still and I really think at this point I was like I, I was getting, I, like, I was over it. I was over, I was over the heat. I just was. And um, I do not handle heat well. I just never have. And so I really think that kind of contributed to me just finally just being done with everything because I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle the heat anymore. I really, when I say I don't do well in heat, I really don't do well in heat. I just don't. So, yay, that one poured in easy. Yeah, I'm just going to make this simple today, guys, because, and this is probably one, like, I don't know if I'm going to obviously finish right away, because it is, it's a, it's a big, it's a big canvas, and that typically tends to be the direction I go. <laughs> Like, I really need to try a snack size, but um, uh, let's just face it, that probably won't happen anytime soon. <laughs> I just, I do, I just do big canvases, what can I say? All right, let me see here, 402, 402. I bet you it's right in front of me again. You guys get like a music show today, right? But. Yeah, so the weather's been nice, like it's been rainy, it's been overcast, like that is so my type of weather. I love it, I never get tired of it. So yeah, it's been super, super nice. And yeah, it's just been good, I'm like trying to think. It hasn't been that eventful, thank goodness, which is a very nice reprieve. Oh, okay, here's some cool things. I know. All right, kind of looking back now. So Saturday was Maggie's first volleyball game of the season, and her team won. It was awesome. They did so good. It was neck and neck, too, so it was really fun to watch. And, you know, as a mama, I'm just, like, super proud of her because um, she's really come a long way with volleyball and again I'm not one of those people who are like trying to make my kid into like the sports prodigy that's not me but like I am impressed with like she's really working hard and she's really um uh, like she's at the point now like and my daughter's nine by the way so like she just plays youth volleyball 
but it's so crazy to me because she actually like she's at the point where she'll go and practice on her own like she enjoys practicing so i'm just like ooh, that's really cool it's just neat to see her her interest in that and yeah so that's been that's been really neat it's been super fun to see her do that so yeah that game it was so much fun it's back and back it was or i'm sorry it's neck and neck and yeah it was just neat to see these girls and like how their skills have improved too so it's now been really like officially a year since maggie first started volleyball and since then she played fall volleyball she played spring volleyball and then uh she did a camp this summer and so yeah she's really been into it and so yeah it's just so cool to see that um she really is improving and she is she's good and i'm not just saying that because she's my daughter or anything like she's legitimately good she's tall she's very tall for her age so that makes i i do think that does make a difference sometimes especially with volleyball like my my husband is six foot three so he's a taller guy and i'm five four so I am obviously not tall. So it's very clear that Maggie got all her height from her father, from his side of the family. And she is, she's tall, she just is. And um, yeah, so that's been good. It's, she's had a lot of fun with that. It was a really fun game. And then, so, <laughs> okay. So she is, she's totally getting into volleyball. Like it's her thing. So, on Saturday, she had her first game, right? Their team won. It was really cool. And then that night, we took her to go see our local college team. So, our local college is Wichita State. And they have great sports. Um, they're, you know, Division I school. So, they, they compete in all the, the big, big, you know, conferences and stuff like that and events. And they have a really good um, girls volleyball team. And they're super fun to watch. And these girls, oh my gosh, like, like the, so, okay. So we go to the game on Saturday night because she really wanted to watch them. She loves her shockers. She loves her, you know, she likes watching it. And it was really fun because um, each game, they really try to appeal to like families and stuff. And so Saturday night, it was fun because um, it was Taylor Swift night. So the whole time they were playing like Taylor Swift music and they had a uh, Taylor Swift uh, trivia like up on the Jumbotron. And I just realized I wrote the code. Okay, hold on, I gotta cover this. Cause I wrote the DMC number instead of the just regular number. So here's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm just gonna cover it <laughs> like this. <laughs> that works um so it was super fun but however uh our team lost like it was just an, and not only did they lose guys it was like a blowout it was pretty bad it was it was tough it was tough to watch I will say and um poor Maggie was just like <laughs> and I'm laughing now just be, like I of course I didn't laugh when it happened because you know, I felt awful. Like she was so sad. Maggie was just devastated. She was so sad that her team lost. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, you know, this that's part of it. And yeah, I know when we when we really like a team, it, it's really, it's really a bummer when they lose. And you know, just explaining it to her. And but she was so disappointed. Like she started crying. And so we had to, you know, comfort her on that and explain things to her. But um, it was a really, it, it was a really fun game to watch. So yeah, like she won her game, but then her team who she loves, they just, it was, it was really rough. Like it, for any of you who watch sports, you probably understand like when it's a bad loss, it's a bad loss. And the, oh my gosh, guys, I did it again. I wrote, I wrote the wrong number. Okay, so hold on. I'm just going to put 14. If you heard that, that's sunny. Sonny is like, he's got free reign of everything now, and he is loving his newfound uh, freedom and exploring the whole house and getting into things. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what it's like to have a kitten. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like, of course, we foster kittens, but it's different to own one again. 
<laughs> but he's super sweet. He's a good boy. But yeah, but guys, on this volleyball team, like on the opposite, and we knew it was going to be a tough game. Like we knew it would because this program, they're really good. So they were playing Colorado. And Colorado is, they have a great, great team. So we kind of knew that, ooh, this might be kind of a rough game. Let's see how it goes. And it was, guys. It was just, it was just a complete blowout. Um, and not only that, okay, so our team, we we thought it was pretty impressive that our team, Wichita State Shockers, I mean, they've got girls on there who are six foot three. I mean, they've got, I mean, all their girls are probably i think maybe the the shortest one is like maybe maybe 510 maybe 510 which again that's still like 6 inches taller than me so to me i still feel like 510 like that's tall you're pretty tall if you're 510 but um yeah our girls are typically like 6 feet 6 1 6 2 and we have one who's 6 3 so on the opposing team on the colorado team I was like very impressed. They had a girl on there and we could see her. Like we were just like, you could tell kind of sitting in the stadium, like you could tell she was tall. Like she definitely stood out. She definitely looked tall, but you know, you, can, you can't quite tell when you're sitting at more of a distance. So my husband and we were just kind of commenting. We were just like, wow, like she is tall. And Finally, my husband, he was to like, curiosity got the better. He's like, I'm going to look at her stats. Because he, he was like, I got to see how tall this girl is. She was 6'7". Six, 6'7". Seven. Six, seven. I was like, wow. I just, I was just, I don't know. I was just blown away. I was like, wow, that is a really tall female volleyball player to be 6'7". I was like, wow. Like there was one time guys, and she was, she was so much fun to watch. Like it was bad. Like I love watching our team, but there's part of me that I was super engaged in watching the other team <laughs> just because they were, they were just really good. And this girl, I remember like our team had like, you know, like me did try to do a kill, tried to spike the ball over. This girl blocked it and she didn't even have to jump. Like she just put her hands in the air and blocked this huge, like, you know, someone trying to spike it right at her. And she just, yeah, like didn't even jump. Like it looked, she just made it look completely effortless. And so I have to admit, I was like completely engaged in watching her. <laughs> Cause she did, she just made it look like, like, yeah, no issues. Like just gonna, yeah just block this ball without jumping so <laughs> it was it was really fun to watch like I felt terrible that Maggie was so sad but it, it was a really fun game to watch just because the other team they were they were they were very good so so we did that so that was fun uh Sunday uh just in church and you know went to mass and um that was good it was more kind of chilling out uh, I did some more diamond painting, and that was another thing too. That was like was just kind of bummy about last week is that I didn't get any diamond painting done. Like I went practically a week without diamond painting, and it just sucked. Like it's crazy how once you get into this, like you notice when you can't diamond paint anymore, and it's not fun. It's just like no, like no, I want to go diamond paint because. I know there's so many of us who use it, you know, as um, a stress relief. And so because I wasn't able to do that and like, you know, have my stress relief, that's what made it more difficult too. I was just like, mm, this isn't like, I don't get to diamond paint. I don't have time to do anything. And so, yeah, it just wasn't, it just wasn't as fun. But Sunday I finally did, which was really, really nice. Um, I worked on more of the sisters by Cheryl Baker because I'm still participating in Cindy's Cheryl Baker event, which Cindy has done like huge shout out to Cindy Schwen. She has been organizing the whole Cheryl Baker event. And I mean, she's just done. Oh, my goodness. She's absolutely like it. I, I need to take tips from her when when me and Sophie and Anthony host our event because she just has been so awesome 
and has just been amazing at putting things together. She has trivia. She's got, she, like, you can tell she really worked hard on this event. And so huge, huge shout out to Cindy. And she's on Instagram, and I'll make sure to post her information because um, probably those of you who watch me probably already know who she is. But um, I will make sure to post her stuff anyways. But, yeah, she is just, yeah, her event has been so much fun. So I got to work on that. Um, you know, I don't think I'll finish the sisters by the end of October. Like, I'm so going to try. But we'll just kind of see. It, it is a big one, but... I'm hoping to get a little more done because uh, I'm finally almost done with um, Mary, the first sister in the kit. So that's kind of like, you know, it's kind of giving me the extra boost to keep going. And it's a great kit. Like I haven't gotten bored with it or anything like that. Like it's, it's a great kit to work on. It's got a really good amount of color blocking, but it's also got a really good amount of confetti. Uh, the subject matter is super cute. So, yeah, it's been great. Sorry, guys, you might have a visitor. I can't. Oh, yep, there he is. He's just checking things out. Hi, Sonny. Sonny's just like, whatever. I'm just going to do what I want now since I'm like the new man of the house. He's super sweet, guys. So, all right, let me give you an update on that. Just in case for some any of you who missed it. So, we did foster fail. So, I am a foster parent for our local humane society. Uh, Sunny was our second foster we ever had, and we totally failed because we adopted him. <laughs> we totally adopted him. He has fit right into the into the family, and everything is just has just been really, really good with him. It's been great. So he's adjusting well. Um, our other cats. It's really funny. Um, I almost kind of think one of our cats has kind of like become his adoptive mother so to speak because she's really like she tries to groom him and she's just really sweet with him like he's kind of bonded with her I can tell because he'll follow her um they will they don't like cuddle together but like she'll be asleep and this is Sugar Bell our other cat she'll be asleep on the bed and he'll come up and he'll sleep on the same bed like kind of next to her and I do, so I think they've kind of formed this little bond between the two of them. And so that's been really cool. So yeah, he has been getting along with all the cats. Um, everything is pretty harmonious for the most part. I think the only thing is, you know, he's a kitten, so he gets into everything. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta, rem I gotta. And like typically with the fosters, we keep them downstairs. So everything downstairs is kitten proof. But upstairs, that's a whole different ball game. And now, you know, we're kind of giving him more free reign of the house and letting him explore more. And because of that, I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to kitten proof things. <laughs> so I've been doing that. And yeah, he's been fine. So far, the dogs have been good with him. Um, like I said before, like Bertha gets really excited about him. But she's not, you know, aggressive or anything like that. She's really good. So still getting used to that. Um, update on, this was something also I want to tell you because I haven't yet. Update on Spencer and Elsa. For those of you who kind of follow uh, my fostering adventures, Spencer and Elsa were also adopted. So I was so happy for that. Um, the only kind of thing that was a little bit of a bummer, at least for me, is that um, they were not adopted together. So I was I was bummed about that. And honestly, I think that was also kind of one of the reasons why last week was tough is because I just, so what had happened was Spencer had been adopted. He was adopted really quickly. And for some reason, Elsa wasn't. And I was just like, I don't know. It did. It really got to me. I was really sad about it. Um, I, I have to admit, like, I really liked Elsa. She was definitely probably my favorite foster so far. I mean, besides Sunny. And she was just super sweet. And I even had had, like, a couple of videos and reels on my Instagram with her. Like, she would literally just lay in my arms as I was diamond painting. 
So I just, I don't know, I figured she was so sweet. I'm like, oh, she's gotta be adopted like that. And she wasn't. So all last week, so Spencer had been adopted. And so I kept, like, I literally was checking the website every single day to see if she'd been adopted yet. And here's the thing, like, I had let them know. I said, hey, I really hope they can be adopted together. They're a bonded brother and sister. But, you know, I, you know, it, it's like, and they do, they try to really keep that in mind. But at the same time, they also are like, hey, we, we also need to get these cats adopted. So, you know, they, and, and I get that. Like, I'd rather see them adopted and if that means separately, then, then stay in a humane society together. You know, like, so I get it. I get why, you know, the humane society has to do what they have to do. They, they, they want these cats adopted. And not everyone can adopt two cats at a time, especially with adoption fees. And ours aren't terrible. Like, our adoption fees are, it's like $100 for a kitten, which, you know, it's not, it's not bad. But I get it. Well, when you get two, that's $200. And not everyone... You know, not everyone has that. Not everyone can just adopt two kittens like that. So I totally get that. But it did just, I don't know. It made me really sad. I was just like, I was really worried. I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, Elsa's going to be there forever. Like she's already lost her brother because he was adopted. And I don't know. I think my mind was just starting to go into worst case scenario. And then not only that, I was just like, I was literally contemplating, guys. I was legitimately, I was like, okay, like, I'm going to go back and get her. But then I was like, well, wait, if I get her and Sunny, I just, I would not have the room to foster anymore. So it was, it was just like, and I know it probably sounds silly, but I don't know. I was just kind of like, it was just a weird week. I was, I was really worried about her. And, you know, part of that is, that's just fostering too. Like, you just have to get used to kind of that stuff. And I think I did let it affect me a little more than I ever intended to. But, good news is, oh, these sometimes get stuck. Let me see if I can pull. There we go. Um, she did get adopted. I'm super happy about that. So, yes. Yeah, so, that was all good. So, Elsa and Spencer have officially been adopted. So yay! So that's all that's really new in the fostering department. Um, really, things have kind of quieted down with uh, fostering. And typically, that's kind of what happens is like summer, spring and summer, they're just, they're just overloaded because like, it's kind of like it's kitten season, it's puppy season. And then 4th of July, you end up getting a lot of strays or ones that got out that are never reclaimed. And so now, thank goodness, um, it actually has kind of died down. So really in these last two weeks, there, there have not been uh no there's been no opportunity to foster which in a way like that's what you want you do, you don't want to have to rely on fosters you you do hope that um yeah like all animals have a home and they're not strays and we don't need fosters so you know in a sense that's been a good thing so really the past two weeks um there hasn't there hasn't been anything posted um it's been pretty quiet so that's kind of been nice. So I have a feeling that's kind of what it will be um, this fall and winter. And frankly, it's kind of perfect because right now we've got Sunny in a little area that I typically would use for fosters. And he has free reign of the house at, uh, during the day, just not at night yet. And so his little area that I typically would designate for fosters, well, he's staying in it. So um until he gets just a little bigger where, you know, I do trust him roaming around the house at night. But since he's not there yet, it's kind of perfect because I'm just like, well, I don't really have exactly the setup I usually have for fosters right now anyways. So it's worked out. So, so far, everything's been really calm. So I kind of imagine, I, I mean, unless there's an emergency or anything, I doubt I'll have any fosters until you know probably even the spring again I think winter really typically dies down which again is a good thing like you don't want to have to rely on fosters you want every animal in a home and all that but so I have a feeling 
uh, fostering will probably die down for the next couple of months. Unless, again, you know, unless there's some kind of emergency, but um, it typically, well, and then it usually happens after Christmas, too, because, um, you know, people get pets for Christmas, and then they decide that, oh, yeah, a pet is a lifetime commitment, so they kind of forget about that, and so we'll see what happens, too, but I have a feeling, like, October through the rest of the year, um, I think it'll be a little quieter with fosters, which is fine because that just means that the cats can still get used to each other with Sunny. Sunny can adjust. And by the time he's big enough to, you know, have the whole house to himself, um, we'll be ready for the next one. So it kind of works out. But that's really all that's going on right now. Um, future plans. Let's see here. Um... I'm still doing my uh, Kofi page, which has been really fun. And my Kofi page is just kind of another way that I post things that are my hobbies and special interests that are but that are not quite diamond painting related. So if you want to check out my Kofi page, you can go ahead in case you are interested in anything else. Like I I, I post pictures of like books I've read, um, like some recipes, and just like general blogging too. And I've really enjoyed that. Um, you know, I will not say that, oh, I'm a great blogger and my writing's amazing. But it is something that I'm really enjoying right now and just kind of trying out. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Um, I've got, I'm super excited. I definitely am going to have some unboxings coming up, which I think is going to be super fun. I'm super excited about these kits that I got. So I'll be, you can look forward to that. Definitely have some unboxings uh, moving forward. Um, the other big thing is, I suppose, is it's funny. So you guys know that I've been going live um, every other week and I was thinking more about it and I'm, and so what I'm going to do, and again, like, I still have to keep in mind that, you know, I may get called to go take my mother-in-law to a medical appointment or something like that. Or, you know, I do manage our rental, so something may call me to meet with a repairman or something like that. So, you know, I, I'm not always going to be able to guarantee that I can do it every week, but I am going to try to go live every week now. So I'm go so starting next week. And from then on, um, I am going to try and do my best to do that same Thursday, you know, lunchtime live, that 12 o'clock noon, and to see how it goes. Because I really do enjoy going live with you guys. I, I think it's really fun. It's really personable. I like talking with you guys and chatting. And, you know, at this point, I'm like, I, I think we can do, I think I can do weekly. So... And the other reason for that, too, that kind of leads me to that, that made me think more about it, is also some really good news. So, because some of you, um, you know, for those who know me and who have kind of heard, like, and like I said at the beginning, my, you know, mother-in-law has metastatic breast cancer. Well, she uh, went to her last appointment, like her oncologist appointment, and, you know, they were measuring kind of her, her tumor markers, like it's called um, serum numbers. And with treatment, they have gone significantly down. They were like at 150 and went all the way down to 25, which is absolutely amazing. Like it means she's responding really well to the treatment. Um, she is going to have a PET scan uh, next month to see, you know, maybe if those, you know, cancer tumors are shrinking and it was just, it was really good news guys. Like it was, I mean, considering what she's gone through since May, it was really good news. So we were just ecstatic about that and super happy. And, and again, like, you know, I'm not trying to like, it's, it's tough because I'm like, I'm not trying to say, Oh, it's going to go away completely because that's not it. I mean, they've already said like it's this this cancer is not going away. 
but if it just improves again more of the quality of life of what she has right now and she's feeling good i am all for that and so i'm really really happy right now with how her treatment's going and and things like that so um yeah so that was kind of another reason i'm like and and again things can always change because uh, even yesterday, I took her to an appointment and it, it wasn't the best news regarding other health concerns. So it really is kind of ups and flows and ups and downs. But I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to go live every week and, you know, just just see how things go, because I really do um, enjoy going live with you guys. I think it's really fun. And so we're going to try that. We are definitely going to try uh, to go live more. So so starting next week, I'm going to try and go every week and just make it a weekly thing that's fun, that we can catch up with each other, and we'll just go from there. So very excited about that. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So I blame, um, I'm calling you out, Sophie. Sophie with the Diamond Help Desk. So Sophie has this huge, you know, Discord server. It's awesome. Like, it's just so much fun. And I wasn't really into this. I, honestly, guys, like, I didn't even know what Discord was <laughs> until, like, after Sophie started a Discord group. Because <laughs> I'm just, like, so out of it with that kind of stuff. But, um, she, and, and also she has a new, um, like, reading YouTube channel and Instagram page, which I think is awesome. She's like really branching out. And uh, they do like a book of the month. Well, so I had finished Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. And I was like, okay, you know what? I will, um, I'll read this, this book of the month thing. And the book was called Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And I got to admit, guys, like when I first... When I first saw it, I, I really wasn't, like, I wasn't that excited about it. I was just kind of like, because it's a, it was a fan, it's an adult fantasy novel. And I'm not really into fantasy literature. I just never have been. The last time I was, I mean, the last fantasy literature I've ever read was the Harry Potter books and then, like, Lord of the Rings. That That's pretty much my only experience uh, with, like, more fantasy literature. So this book, Fourth Wing, is fantasy literature or adult fantasy. And I remember like kind of reading about it and I'm like, eh, you know, like I just wasn't that interested. But I decided, you know what, I'll try it out. I'll see how it is. Like I finished my Stephen King novel. So I'll just, I'll, I'll try this one just to see how it is. Um, yeah, guys, like my life has been changed. The, I absolutely love this book. <laughs> like, I read it in about four days. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. And now I'm just like, what do I do with myself now? Like, I love this book. <laughs> and it's just really affected me. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, I am loving it so far. And I already finished it, so now I've got to find a new book to read. But it is going to be a series, so like the second one will come out in November. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I don't know, guys. This book, it just, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was good. So um, read it if you're interested in it because it was, it was just, it's, it is, it's amazing. It's really good. Like, I don't want to say any more about it. I just loved it. So finish reading that. Uh, what else have I been doing lately? Except for, again, really as far as like hobbies and fun times, I don't really get a lot of that, you know, this past week because it was so crazy with other stuff. So I got to do some reading and then I think probably the only other thing I did is, um, I talked about it in my last whip and chat, uh, Animal Crossing. Don't know why, never played it before, but now I'm just like, this is such a fun game. Why didn't I play it before? So I have been getting into Animal Crossing more, which I have really just enjoyed. It's just a fun game where it's like, you just kind of get to make your own fun little world and 
I don't know. Sometimes those things, I get it now. I'm like, that's kind of a nice escape. Like I never understood the premise of video games like that. And now that I've played it a little bit, I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> like, this is really fun. <laughs> so yeah, who would have thought that I would be doing like more video games, but I have actually really enjoyed it. So that's another thing. So yeah, really just kind of reading, doing a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, oh, but, and obviously in, in diamond painting. So that's really kind of been it. But I think I'm all right with that. So let's see, what else? So I told you about, I've got some unboxings coming up. Um, I've got, uh, we're definitely gonna be trying to go live every week. I really think that's kind of all that's going on right now, guys, which is kind of nice, you know? Like, it's not really the most eventful, and that's probably a good thing right now because last week was just really crazy. So, let's see how long I've been going for. I think I've been going around the time, but let me finish this because I've only got, like, four more colors, so we can finish this up. But... I'm excited um, to do my unboxings for you. So that'll be, so I think, so let me know what you think. Cause I'm thinking, so I've got three of them that I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys. And I'm kind of wanting to do one per week and kind of spread it out because I really think, so tell me what you guys think in the comments because I'm either thinking, so I could just do all three in one unboxing or do an unboxing for each of them and just kind of spread it out a little bit. So let me know what you guys think about that because I'm kind of leaning towards spreading it out just because honestly, these specific kits that I got, I really think they could be their own video um, because I just how much I love them. But let me know what you think about that because I keep going back and forth. I'm like, hmm, do I just wanna do like a big unboxing and just one video? Or, you know, kind of spread it out and let people enjoy each unboxing for what it is and, you know, appreciate that art form for what it is. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'll be curious to see. And then maybe I'll, we'll, we'll see what I do. All right, 3864. Yeah, I am excited about this kit though, guys. I think it is really, really pretty. I just, I saw all the pinks and, the pinks and the reds and everything and I'm like this is this would be a really fun kit to do and I've never had I've never tried an enablers outpost kit too so that was another thing too I'm really trying to um just buy from shops that I haven't yet and enablers outpost was like I had bought other things from them before but I'd never bought a diamond painting yet so really excited to try out this canvas which, speaking of canvases, did anyone else buy anything? Like, I have to admit, last weekend, there, there were some good canvases. They had, like, man, they had a new, um, like, Hannah Lynn, which is crazy because, like, I, I like Hannah Lynn now. I never thought I would say that, but I do. It's not that I don't like her. It's because, like, it just wasn't my type of art. But now that I see more, I'm just like, oh, she's really cute. Like, I like her art. Um... So, uh, there was that Hannah Lynn one. There was a Spangler one of the Christmas cats, which that one made me cry, guys. I got to admit, because one of them totally looks like Elsa, my last foster. And then th there was like, oh, and then there was a, the, the Richard, like, Lorenz one. So, I, like, I was shocked, honestly. I thought everything would be sold out, but I don't think everything is yet, which was crazy to me. I did not think uh things would be still available so I did guys it took me everything not to buy another one I really really wanted one but actually I wanted a couple but I refrained I was very proud of myself I really am like at this point it was funny I was talking to my husband about it and I'm like I I've got more canvases and and that doesn't even count like cross stitch conversions I have I I'm set I really should be set. I really think I have probably something for any event that could be going on this next year. And um, I'm really like, and I know I've said this before, like, oh, I'm on a no buy. 
But really this time I'm kind of like, no, I just, I think you, I think finally you kind of get to a point um, where you're really, you're just very comfortable with having a no buy. And I think I'm there. I still am absolutely going to do small shops because I love small shops. I love seeing what people create. And that's kind of another thing too. I might start incorporating into my channel, like maybe some small shop hauls that maybe aren't all related to diamond painting. Um, like they'll have some diamond painting stuff, but then maybe some other stuff, you know, that maybe can enhance your diamond painting experience but aren't necessarily exactly, you know, diamond painting things. So kind of thinking about that too, is just kind of really focusing more on small shops, um, not buying any more canvases, and we'll just see how that goes because, I don't know, that's just kind of where I'm at right now, I think. Um, you know, and kind of reflecting now on a year being on YouTube. Last, year, last week was my one year YouTube anniversary, like technically it was September 9th. And now that it's been a year, I'm kind of like, you know, I think I'm just gonna, I don't want to say slow things down because I don't think I'm slowing down, but you know, kind of switch gears with some things that I'm finding that I think a lot of kind of creators are doing that just like learning how to pace themselves more and just figuring out like, okay, what do I really want? Because we're so niche anyways. And it was funny. I was listening to Anthony was single and placing with his vlog and it was so true I'm just like yeah we're really kind of niche and so at this point I kind of think we can do what we want with our channels and and just make it our own and I think that's where I'm kind of going towards now is just kind of you know branching out there and trying some other things too that I want to talk about so I'm excited for that but here we go, guys, all kitted up. You can see these gorgeous colors. I had plenty of compartments to spare, which means I probably could have kitted all these up, but I don't know, I just I didn't, I just didn't wanna do static today. <laughs> so I will just kind of prop these baggies up in a little, my little, you know, thing. But yeah, we're all, there, we'll put it right there. We are all kitted up, so. Um, I am really excited about this. I think this will be a really fun uh, kit to kind of work on. Another whip, but you know, that's okay by now. At this point, I'm just like, yep, I have way too many whips and don't plan to stop, so. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's probably it for today then. I know this is probably more rambling, but I don't know. That's just kind of where my mind is right now. But anyways, I hope everyone is having a great day, great weekend, great evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, I really hope this video brought you some joy because it does. It always brings joy to me making them. I hope you're taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.